Hello and welcome to a basic Java tutorial on strings. In this tutorial you're going to learn about the string in Java. String is a both a class and you can create objects of this type. It's sort of an extension of the basic primitive data types in Java. And a string contains characters and these characters are just letters. So any letter that you type out um, is a, an actual character that you want to print out on the screen um, would be contained or could be contained in a string. And strings are so common in Java that there are a lot of special rules around them. In this tutorial I will teach you a few of these rules, um, one of which is how you compare the values of two strings Another is uh, how you uh, deal with them in printing out um, on the command line. And then I'll also cover a few other uh, pieces in this tutorial. One on the concept of Javadoc, which is a way of documenting your code and how to find out how to use a class in Java. And we'll get started. I have written a class named string test and I've written one method inside this class the public static void main method that has two variables created string one with a value of value one note that I have incorporated the value inside these quotes and this is an actual string that will be printed out here and then I have I will write these values out to the command line And I will compile this. And it caught a compile error. I need to have an ending curly brace at the end of the class. And I run it. It's simply going to print out the values that I have listed there. I wanted to note a few things about strings in this tutorial. One is string is a very common data type in Java. It deals with these literal character uh, strings. Now, I have set two different values here. Strings are special in Java, so whenever you get into comparing different strings, I'll go ahead and do a basic comparison here. If I say 1 is equal to 2, if I check to see that, and then we can say system out print line, they are equal. And then if not, I'll print out they are not equal. So if I use this equal equal operator in Java, this is asking if 1 is equal to 2. Now with strings, this works special way. So I check this, I compiled it and ran it and it said they are not equal. Now this is true. Value 1 is different than value 2. Let's say that I change this second one to value 1. So now they should be equal, right? I'll compile it and I'll run it and they are equal. So this is true. Now I'm going to do something a little different here and I'm going to put in here a little notation that we use in Java that is something that's usually done kind of under the covers um, but when we say new and then I put string here this is saying I want to create a new object of type string in Java and I do want to pass in that same value um, but what this is saying is it's actually going to create a new object to put into this variable too. Let's see how this works over here We'll compile it, run it, and it says they are not equal. So note back here that one of the things that this is doing with the string is actually um, when you use this quote value and you didn't say new string, 
it's going to only have, you know, if you were to look at the memory of your Java program, there's only one place where it actually said value 1. And in the code, when we just had value 1 here set to 2, it was using the same thing, value 1, in the same place in memory and putting it in two different places and putting a pointer to it in two different places so that you could compare them and they would be the same. But when we say that we actually want a new memory position, a new object of value 1, that means they are different. So how, how does that make sense? If we have value 1 here, they should be equal, right? You should have a way to compare those to make them equal. Um, this equal equal is different than what you're expecting because this equal equal is really looking at that position in memory to see if they are identical objects. It's not trying to see if they have identical text inside them. The way to do that is to use a different um, value that is uh, associated with a string called equals. And this is a method that you can uh, use this dot notation when you want to use a method associated with the string. You can have the variable name, the object name, dot, and then this equals method. And in parentheses, we're going to pass in the string we want to compare to it, which is the to variable. So once I do that and save it, and then compile it, oh, I'm missing a parenthesis, so it's good. The compiler checks those sorts of things. And that parenthesis, run it, and it says they are equal. So this is a way of checking that text inside, even though you may be dealing with different objects. One other thing that I wanted to note to you is how to look up these methods, like equals. This is very important in Java, and you may be using an IDE that has this built into it. But I'm using a simple text editor here, and this is an effective way to do Java programming um, because you have resources available on the internet at your disposal. In my browser here, I'm going to search on javadoc string. Javadoc is a way of documenting how classes are supposed to work. Java in Sun has done this for us. So when you search on this, the first thing that's going to come up is a link to a website, javasun.com. There are a bunch of values here afterwards, but if you search on this, javadoc is the first word, and then whatever class you're dealing with second, it will bring up as the first choices something on this Java Sun website that will tell you all about this class and how it's supposed to be used and information about it. So I wanted to show you how you might find that equals. It gives examples too, so it's a very useful link. And again, I would, I would say just go straight to this Sun website because Sun produced Java. Um, go straight to this website. You, you don't, can't memorize this entire URL, but if you Google the Java doc and then the class name, it will always bring up something um, like this. If you scroll down, it will give you a summary of how this object works, how this class works. And when it's, once it says method summary, it's going to list all the different methods that you can use on a string. Anything you could imagine on how to deal with this string and manipulate its values or figure out what is inside of it, you can find here. And so um, if we go back over here to this equals, you see I did find the equals method. And it says it returns a Boolean value. And the method is equals, and it takes in an object. We passed in a string there, compares this string to a specific object. If you click on it, it will go to a more specific um, section that tells you about it. And so it'll tell you very specific information about that and how that method is supposed to work. Javadoc, this example, very useful. Um, whenever you write classes of your own, another good idea is to produce your own Javadoc in case another programmer wants to um, look at it in this format on an HTML page to figure out how to use that. So it's a very effective way which we can look at in the future on Javadoc. But just note what Javadoc is and how you can go look at different methods involved in that. So back to our example, um, we saw the comparison and how equal equal worked and how equals works and then how the values are not necessarily um, the same even though you have this uh, the same literal text. The comparison is very different between the two. In this tutorial, you learned about the string in Java, 
how it can be used to represent characters, just letters, and how you can compare two strings in your program, the different ways of doing that with the equals and equal equal and the difference in those. Um, also, learning about how you can create a new string, the different options you have for that. Uh, in addition, we went through the Javadoc uh, concept and how you can look up Javadoc on the Sun website. And this will come in handy when you go to uh, find your assignment um, that will be found under the basic Java section for strings. And it will ask you to utilize the Javadoc in order to find out how to use a specific feature of the string and then use some conditionals as we've done in this sample, the if statement, else statement, so that you can complete the assignment. Good luck.